Hello everyone out there in the YouTubes, my name is Ominator, and today marks the dawn of a new era. We're gonna do something a bit different today, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna keep doing something very much like this. That, my friends, is an orange dual terror. It's a 30 watt two channel all tube amplifier. It's got uh, four ECC83 preamp tubes in the preamp section and four EL84 tubes in the power amp section. And today we're gonna put it to the test, see if it can do some metal and some other things as well. Now before I go on, I wanna thank my good friend Calvin for letting me borrow this amp, this is his amp. Uh, he also let me borrow his uh, orange cabinet. Now throughout this video, there are gonna be some annotations like um, up here or up there is somewhere where you can skip around to different sections of the video if you just want to get straight to the sound and you don't want to hear me ramble on about features and things and stuff. So you can click that and stuff if the move, yeah. You can also just watch the whole video. Let's, uh, let's get to work. Let's take a look at the amp. <laughs> All right, taking a look at the front of the amp, we're gonna go from left to right. First, you have the power switch, which uh, turns the amp on or off. You have a standby switch, which is standard on most tube amps these days. Uh, which allows the amp to uh, be on and receive power, but not uh, output any sound to uh, the cabinet. Typically what you want to do is turn the amp on and wait a minute or something like that, and then turn the standby switch to either full or half, and then start playing. Now full or half here means uh, the full mode is uh, the full 30 watts uh, of the power section, half is 15 watts, so it halves the power. This gives you more uh, tube saturation at a lower volume. We have a fittingly orange LED, uh, that lights up when you turn the amp on. Then uh, moving on to the two channels, we have the fat channel and the tiny terror channel. The fat channel doesn't have as much gain as the tiny terror channel. Uh, it's good for cleans, it sounds very warm, uh, and you can also you know, increase the gain by a good bit and get uh, some nice bluesy crunch tones. By turning up the, the tone knob, you can uh, get some of that uh, warmth to, uh, so to speak, uh, go away and get some more spanky Telecaster, uh, Stratocaster kind of sounds with it. Um, so that's up to you. Typically on a tube amp, you have uh, a tone stack, which consists of a uh, bass knob, a mid knob, and a treble knob. Now on this particular amp, you'll only have tone uh, for each channel. Uh, whether this is a limiting factor or uh, a heaven send, so to speak, uh, is really up to you and, and what you use the amp for. Uh, it does prevent people from scooping the mids all the way out or cranking the bass to maximum because it sounds cool, bro. So I appreciate that sentiment from Orange. Uh, it's a pretty good idea in my opinion. I did find it a little bit limiting in the studio for dialing in uh, very specific tones, uh, but for the average guitar player, this tone knob is gonna be a heaven send because it's gonna ensure that you don't scoop the mids all the way out or crank the bass or whatever you, whatever you do, you know, <laughs> all that jazz. Moving on, we have the input on the right and the channel switch. Let's take a look at the back of the amp. Okay, taking a look at the back of the amp, we find that we have two speaker outputs rated at eight ohms and one speaker output at 16 ohms. So uh, depending on which cabinet you uh, are going to use with this amp, you wanna use uh, either one of these or that one. Uh, and if you have a four ohm cabinet, well, too bad, you're gonna have to figure something out with that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, this is probably the most interesting feature uh, on this amp in my personal opinion. You can switch it from four output tubes to two output tubes. And essentially what this does if, is uh, half the power output. So if you have a 30 watt amp and you switch it to two output tubes, you have a 15 watt amp. And then the uh, switch in the front that switches half power uh, can switch it all the way down to seven watts. So you can get a lot of, uh, of saturation at a very low volume with this amp, which makes it uh, very versatile. You can use it as a bedroom amp or you can use it at a relatively uh, large gig without much uh, of a problem by using these switches intuitively. Also, you have a foot switch, uh, which you can buy separately and plug in right here. And then we have the power at the back there. All right, before I put the demo track on, I wanna clear up a couple things so that people don't fucking send me hate mail and shit and comment and all kinds of things and stuff. All the tracks were recorded as DIs and then later reamped from an output on my audio interface through a reamping box and then through the uh, Jet City Afterburner Dual Stage Overdrive, which is being used as a boost. There are gonna be some pictures throughout the demo that show you the settings used for the rhythm guitar and the solo as well. The final guitar tracks were high-passed and low-passed. There will be pictures of that as well. And on the lead guitar, I added a little bit of delay and reverb uh, in post. The drums are programmed with Superior Drummer 2, specifically the Metal Machine expansion. And the bass was recorded with an LTD B55. 
Now I apologize for uh, being a bit sloppy when it comes to playing the solo. It didn't really feel like retaking it, so <laughs> fuck it. Also, yes, I'm very aware that all of this riffing that I'm about to do is fairly generic. I wasn't going for a musical genius in this video. Just wanted to see if it could do some uh, chugga chugga chuckity chuck chug metal. You know what I'm saying? Me sugar, bro. Or is some. Uh, here you go. Here's the demo. So what's the deal with the Orange Dual Terror? Well, it's a fantastic 30 watt little tube amplifier. It is not great for everything, but I think I managed to make it sound good for all the things that I demonstrated today. I will say if you're planning on playing metal, more extreme genres of metal, and especially with that modern tight metal tone, you might want to look elsewhere. This amp has a lot of prominent low mid range, it can get muddy sounding fast, 
uh, if you're playing with down-tuned guitars. Today I played in drop A, which is quite low in D, but even with drop B, drop C, something like that, you start noticing that mud quite a lot. And the only way to really get around it is to have a good boost in front of the amp and to position your mic correctly. And of course, having a keen eye, a keen ear <laughs> for dialing in the amp. Uh, and if you don't have that, I might want to fold on this one for playing metal. However, if you're playing rock or punk or blues or practically any other genre, I don't think you can really go wrong with this amp. It sounds absolutely fantastic for all of those applications as I've demonstrated. Uh, so yeah, pretty fantastic. Oh yeah, and did I mention this amp comes with a gig bag that is, uh, well it says orange on the front, and it's sufficiently uh, padded on the inside to not be completely useless. Also it has a compartment in the front where you can keep stuff like speaker cables and extra strings and shit, so that's pretty neat. If you liked the video, hit that like button below, and if you want to see more content like this, I'd suggest you subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot, and it notifies you when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching, my name is Ominator, until next time, have a great... Uh... A, a great time? <laughs>